Real news. Real issues. Real people. It's Ciola Wilson, one-on-one. -on -one. So, Ash, as a former politician, how does it sit with you that we're now on our third minister of national security? And Michael Weeks came in and had a murder a few hours within his appointment. Um, clearly, he needed time to get settled. Since then, you've had big town hall meetings, and I've heard a lot of talk about how we need to get to the core issues and so forth. But the officials know one of our main ports of entry has a scanner on the docks that hasn't worked in ages. So what yeah, are we talking about, really? So how serious are we about this issue? I, when we sat on the Joint Select Committee, I recall someone from the international business sector came and had done the uh, research on how if a gun was shot up at 40 seconds, how far that bullet could travel and the likelihood of it hitting someone in safe faring Right. We start to see them leave. Some of them began, Bermuda is not the safe place that it used to be. They realize this. So big business, we'll come in and out, but that's not the place we want to be anymore. It's not as safe. We could be at our pool and a bullet shot from somewhere else and hit one of us minding our business. Which is why everyone was so shocked when they had to double murder at Robin Hood. Yes. But exactly. you've had murders but right that, outside of PLP's headquarters. Headquarters, yeah, yeah. We've had that, that shooting at the golf course, mm -hmm. at the golf, and it's gone and we'll move on to another and another and another. another, and another. The government or a government needs to do a strategic plan. Education is key. I bet you 90% of those people serve my time are well below the education standard that they should be for their age. Probably never finished. Right. A lot. That, I mean, Larry discusses that in the book. A lot of these people are making big dollars, but they can re hardly read and write. They, they can count. Co oh, they, of course, they, they can, can count. count. Yeah. But you see, another thing, education is certainly, certainly a key, but if we don't get our economy rejuvenated, and that requires, I'm afraid, bringing in from outside people that have money. Okay. Now, there's been a, a, a real negative uh, on the immigration thing from the current government about who can come in and work. I've always thought that the people that need to come in and work are people with buckets of money. But the people who are actually here are people doing menial work. And the excuse we use is, well, Bermudians won't Don't. work. But you still got them in here taking what is left of the jobs that Bermudians could do by people from outside. But to jumpstart this economy, we've got to have the immigration. The minister will no doubt say, Minister Haber will no doubt say, I just made $23 million over nomads. That's no goddamn he money. He say where it's invested. Yeah, yeah, that's no goddamn money in a billion dollar um, economy. That's chicken feed. It's nothing. We've got to encourage the business community and the international business community in particular. You remember <coughs> when um, um, Parleville Road and Bermudiana Road and hordes of accountants walking well, up and down. That's what made this economy buoyant. Remember when we used to have those huge cranes? We used to call them the Bermuda Bird. Mm, David, right? Bur David mm. um, Lewis used to yeah, call it right, the, the Bermuda bird, bird. Right? And the, there is one such building going on right now opposite the post office post on office, Church yeah. Street. I'm not saying overheat the economy to that degree, but we've got to give our international partners an opportunity to develop where they love to come. Put it and, in name and term. they then create work. Whether it's for the taxi drivers, the people that work <coughs> in the hotel industry, the people that cut the grass, the people that rent apartments, or whatever it is that they do, we Bermudians will have to be employed in those, in those industries, right? That's what has to happen. So speaking of the economy with no disrespect to mm -hmm. our IT professional premier, mm -hmm. Ash, all I hear from this guy is FinTech. FinTech, FinTech, FinTech. Uh, well, we were also hearing about the... Uh, and the hotel and that the was hotel. urgent, Blackout. but six and, months later, so, you don't have... I yeah. also understand as a result of our story that there's some meetings going on. This is... Week two in August, mm -hmm. um, this show is airing in September, so keep in mind the timeline. But mm -hmm. this whole GenCom deal, it was urgent. If it has to be finished by next September, nobody's broke any ground. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely not going to 
open when September. it was promised. So yeah. why all the but I, I, silence? I agree fully with Larry about the need to improve the economy. Mm-hmm. Have you given much thought to, it might be very difficult. Mm-hmm. Bermuda, I don't feel Bermuda's a place of interest for people to invest their money. The I, difficulties I, in mm-hmm. government, the... I, I disagree with that. Um, okay. People with money are here in Bermuda investing a lot of that money outside and then of course you've got some wealth in Bermuda too, natural wealth. And let me explain how that works from wearing my corporation hat. You've seen me balance my books every year at the um, um, Corporation of Hamilton and pay our debts. We have no debt, right? Because people are paying their taxes, right? If people are paying their taxes in this economy, they must have some reserves somewhere. And so I can still plant flowers on, on, on Front Street and put those lovely hanging baskets all around the damn city, right? And paint my lines because people are paying their taxes. That's a corporation. With all, that's a corporation. With all Money of those, those small boutiques that are closed mm-hmm. up, my main um, um, rate payer basically pays their tax. Let's now go to the people who actually come into Bermuda and invest. There are still wealthy people who think that this is a jurisdiction which is worth them coming to visit and live in. That doesn't mean that they're going to now buy up uh, property and go into some kind of relationship, a 60-40 relationship with a Bermudian to knock down a building in, in Hamilton and put up some of those big cranes. So the but if the economy were, if the island were more stable, I think they would. Just like the Greens did, right? There's lots of Greens around, you know. If they felt comfortable about where the country was going in terms of its debt, I think they would open up their pocketbooks. But I think people go, oh, that's, that's a good investment overseas. Um, I'm not it's an easy and investment. So, so, and so places. let's do that. Let's wait out this Bermuda thing and remember the Greens are Bermudians, right? And so they maybe got a, they're different from a guy that was born in, born in, 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 in Connecticut. Yeah, I got no Okay. Stay. Right? You see, so you is see the, this mm, anti social mm, behavior, mm, with the exception of mm, a shooting at Robin mm-hmm. Hood, even affecting the community? It affects us more. Okay, because it I keep mm, hearing Michael Weeks mm, and other mm, officials mm, say this is a community mm, problem. No, it's a black community it's problem. It's a black community problem. And it doesn't. Okay. Aff- Go ahead, Ash. Yeah. It, yeah. I don't see no a black, white women a, it's burying the sun. It's a black no community mm-hmm. problem. Mm-hmm. However, we're all on the same boat. That's right. I mean, yeah, we've yeah, always yeah. had this concept yeah. of mm-hmm. us and, and them. them. When, mm-hmm. when drugs were down on Reed Street, mm-hmm. outside of the arcade, yes. when, way back, it was that's where white people were generally getting high. Mm-hmm. Court Street, we had our people getting high. Mm-hmm. And we've always, it's a black problem. Mm-hmm. We're all in this together. When we see, I, I'm surprised at the amount of properties I see around her for sale. Yes. Empty. In white areas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I believe some white people are packing up and going. Yes. Yeah. They, they want to live somewhere where it's easier to, to survive. Mm-hmm. They're selling the house, not renting. They're going. Mm-hmm. But we can't continue to say a black problem. It, it's, a, it's, it's affecting a, it's a, us. It's a Bermuda Because problem. we're at the bottom of the rung. Yeah, yeah. We haven't had the opportunities. Now those are the things we need to start mm-hmm. discussing. How do we even the, the playing field mm-hmm. so that our young people don't feel alienated? Mm-hmm. When I was on the Joint Select Committee, we talked, we spoke to five young inmates. I think the youngest was 18 or 17. It might have been too young to even know it. Every one of those were in, they, they weren't in for, for, for this thing, but they all told us they had swallowed drugs to bring into the country, <laughs> every one of them. Mm-hmm. And they said, Mr. DeVent, mm-hmm. I'm 18, 19. I want to take my girl to movies. I want a bike. I can't get a job. Now, the reasons why I can't get a job could okay. be education mm-hmm. or a country that's seeming over time to say, I will prefer to hire a foreigner. It's not gonna give me any lip back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's not gonna think about joining a union. That's the perfect employee, employee for me. me. <clears throat> Just, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, mm-hmm. hey, whatever you say, boss, I'll hop me and do it. Mm-hmm. We've outgrown that. And that's one of the reasons I don't think a lot of big people look to invest here. 
because we were unionized. Yes. I can go in down the islands and hire you and fire you today. You have no rights. And just so the people understand, you're not being anti-union. No, no. But employers are making certain kinds of you're decisions. You're a union guy. No, no yes. I'm, I'm a yeah. union guy. I'm a yeah. union person. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, cable yeah. and wireless joined. Uh, no, so just, I got it. I got so it. So just yeah. a sidebar, this constitutional thing that Jason here would try, does that make sense to you? Okay, another story. Another story. Another, another story. Another yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, let me just come back and um, not to totally disagree with you. You talk about a lot of that property that is on sale, which is um, um, in white areas. That's a lot of property which is being probated and many white families, the, the, the young people, are not choosing to stay there. And so the properties which are being so, had that, that house that mommy and daddy had, that nice piece of property, with, right? They want the money. Sell it, I'll take the cash because I'm living now upstate somewhere New York. Else, somewhere. So right? how does yeah. this play out in a time when more than half of our population is over 65? Yes. And our young children are going out of here. Mm -hmm. At some point, I don't think we're really addressing what's coming down the pike well, there, there, there in a of, real yeah, way. There are lots of issues there. I mean, we're getting older. The young people have no opportunity economically, and so they're moving away. My pension is therefore if affected. That's just one problem. Um, and we're bringing in people from, outs from overseas to, in fact, do the menial, well, the work that many of those people who are moving overseas are doing. And so we've got it, we've got the balance wrong. We've got the balance just simply wrong. We've got to create the middle management work for Bermudians, uh, and I, quite frankly, I think I think women, black and white, would probably take mean advantage of that. You'll see in the paper this morning the young girl um, um, Bridgewater and another young white boy. I can't remember his name. I remember remembered Bridgewater in particular. I, I know the family who have just been given a um, huge scholarship. Those are the young people who are taking advantage, and that's where our young people want to be. They want to live at that level. We've got to make sure that everybody gets a chance who wants to take that opportunity to be able to do just that. And I don't think we've got that right. We're pissing around with, with um, um, signature schools mm. and, and nobody's quite on board yeah. with that. And, and dare say, I'll be criticized for having criticized the minister on his signature school. But not everybody's on board. Many people are not on board on that. We're doing what Gerald Simons did many, many years ago with bloody middle, middle schools. You know. Let's teach he, our children. He's the reason Work Academy went back private. Hello. So they didn't want to be bothered with your education All of that, plan. Right? And this, this was Bermuda's best and brightest. I said this to they the PS. They couldn't have been that bright. I said this to the PS of education, education several months ago as they were coming into the early stages of this signature school thing. I said, do you know what they're doing over at um, um, Girls High? And over work that, academy. That, and work academy, that fish thing down on the on the water side down there at work academy is, is signature. That huge building they put over there at Girls High is signature. You're the planning department controllers. You knew what they were doing because they made an application to you. Why didn't you say to them, "Let's do this jointly"? Right, so that they didn't suck up six or million dollars out of the out of the economy. Government could have put in half of that, and all the students in Bermuda, public and private, could have shared in that signature method. The private schools are light years down the road because they are finished their projects, and we haven't even got the system going yet. And you say to yourself, "Duh." So, what does that say about a civil service? Because gotta, gotta we've be, had gotta, reports mm, that mm. said there's no accountability at the top. We've had long-serving PSs mm -hmm. who say this is government's come and go, but this is my job. My, and they mm, get to slouch. The point I just made. No accountability. The point I just made was critical of civil servants. A planning department minister, um, um, civil servant head would have known that Girls High and Work Academy were planning signature um, um, systems at their school. How come they weren't smart enough to say to the minister, minister? This is what's happening. This is what's happening. Why don't we? Why don't we join with them? We pay those people big money, not the minister for for coming up with the grand idea. We pay the civil servant for coming up with the idea, they and they missed they it. They don't come up. With and my ideas. my dear friend, the PS of education, said to me, Larry, what a wonderful idea! When you have those ideas, call me. 
Yeah, well, did she think it was wonderful when she jacked up the Freddie Evans and cost us millions of dollars? Oh, Jesus. Lord. And still has a job. How many computers? Is he, that personal? Yeah. No, but I'm saying in the private sector, if I screwed up at that level, I'd be here. Yeah, off with the head. Yeah. Civil service worldwide. Yes. Are different. Mm. And they're not very efficient. They're not. So now we're thinking mm -hmm. of ways, or we must find ways to make them more efficient. Mm -hmm. And make them more accountable. accountable. Yeah. Now, that's something for us. Now, we must do it, mm -hmm. particularly now with the economy the way it is. Yes, we yes. can't afford to keep paying people big dollars to fail. When Zane De Silva was in charge of the Ministry of Financial Assistance, mm -hmm. we were paying out four million a year, yeah. a month, four million a month, month more a than month. a million. It was a month. That was before COVID. Yeah. Three years into COVID, I don't have the latest numbers, but in that group of people receiving financial assistance, mm -hmm. there's a growing number of young people who haven't worked since day one. No, I get out of high school, mm -hmm. I get financial assistance. Start cooling out after three years. When I get 26, 27, I'm not looking for no job. Are we aware of the percentage of deadbeats we're, we're, we're facilitating right now? <laughs> we, we facilitate dead beats. Excuse and, the expression. No, 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 We've perpetuated this concept that Bermudians don't like to work. Mm -hmm. Some of the hardest working people in the world used to work three, four jobs, jobs to yeah. accomplish something. Mm -hmm. But so this is such a complex issue because the children of those people that work three or four jobs, I mean, the parents mm -hmm. of those people, now their children are doing the same. Are, 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 don't, so, are not, so, not doing the same. Mm -hmm. First, they don't have the opportunities. Yes. They can't mm -hmm. get one job. Mm -hmm. Well, everywhere I go, I see someone who doesn't look like me, doesn't speak like me, gotcha. packing shelves in supermarkets. They're doing the work that, we we, that the average it. person, because yeah. we all aren't brain surgeons, mm -hmm. we all aren't engineers or doctors or lawyers. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep those places open. But it's twofold. And they're here with a permit, you know. With, they're here with a permit. With a permit. But it's twofold. Yeah, so they so don't blame them. They got a permit to be here. Yeah, I'm not blaming them. Yeah. The system mm. is said. Yeah. And allowed people to say, Bermudians are lazy. Mm -hmm. They don't, we don't want them. So eventually, what, do, no, we're, we're out, of out of the picture. Out of the picture. And like I said, that safety valve, they've all run off to England. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we now have to come to the fact, because we've been analytical of what the problem is. We've got to say, today, how do we fix it? Well, before you do that, how do you say to a young man who's got a little hustle and is making five, seven hundred dollars a week, but mm -hmm. he could go in the corner and, ah, and, and sell and yeah. for a couple of days a week? Takes yeah. longer, but he ends up with G money. Yeah. You know, so more we go money back to sometimes. where we were. So, yeah. like, like, how do you yeah. fix that? That's that's a difficult one because the economy crashed. Two thousand and eight has been since this thing has been mm. been been really in a hole, right? Um, uh, and so what people have, have done is what humans do. I've got to live. Would you like to buy a bag? Yeah, right. They'll you know, survive. By My, I, I, I delivered there. all the beer that I can for the day off of Gosling's truck. But on the way back down to Somerset, I'll stop off at my mate Ashfield's house <laughs> on some of you and say, look, you want to buy a bag? Yeah. yeah. All right. That's my supplemental income. I talk about it here. The supplemental income. Talk right? to me about it. Well, that's, in the book. It, it, that's, what they, that's what has happened. And it has happened in all kinds of society. If I don't have an opportunity to, to do the work where the work permit holders are doing it, right, I will find another means. I will either cut somebody's grass, it's too damn hot in September in Bermuda to do that. I could stand on a corner or go deliver a, a, a package in the middle of the night when the police are not around and still make money because I don't have an opportunity to put on my black pants, sign my black shoes and deliver So I don't drinks. see that, I don't see that change in any time. No, too. but you see, if in fact we had the economy buoyed because of international business, 
or even Gen Con, if they could ever get off the ground. And I could go to work at Princess or any of the hotels and make a damn decent salary with some tips. I might be able to say, I don't want the risk of being busted by the man. I can make enough money off of my work in the hotel and my tips to be able to take my girlfriend down to Disney with, with the little one. days are gone, man. Well, maybe then I'll buy myself a BMW and a big girl chain. Maybe that's what I want. Maybe that's my aspiration, right? But we've got to give them an alternative of employment. And I think if we get the economy right, we will do that. We cannot afford to make, to allow the country to get to the stage where, and we're, we're fast approaching it, where crime and the, the, the sources of criminal activity is normal. And we're getting close to that because once it's here. Well, 15 years ago when you heard of a gun matter, it was like, ooh, oh my gosh. Oh God, now yeah. it's a matter like, who was it this time who was next? It that time? I look, I got it on my, my, my iPhone and I'll, I'll share it with you. We cannot allow We're our society there, to, to become that criminal. When you talk to young people about mm -hmm. politics, a mm -hmm. lot of them say they don't business voting. Mm -hmm. That most of you politicians are corrupt. And you're, you're an ex MP. Mm -hmm. Someone told you the other day that you have to be corrupt to be a politician in Bermuda. You say, mind you, you didn't have an easy go either. I know. There are those who say you were the fall guy on Barclay. Well, but, but, but see, now I'm going to talk about it now. Mm -hmm. This is a government with a huge majority mm -hmm. but they're not I'm disappointed that some things i think they could some things like what just done easily well, well I, I i think they misled young voters with their talk about legalization of cannabis <laughs> jesus yes they misled them yes truthfully what, what because i believe they knew Britain wasn't just going to say, come on, you can do it. They had more than a year to change the legislation, but, did nothing. And we could have done it in a different way. I yes. mean, it's kind of happened because the police don't seem to be running people over for cannabis, cannabis yeah. right? But they promised people that growth would take place. And they knew, I, I, I believe somebody, again, if, if some civil servant didn't warn the politicians that this cannot, Britain's not going to fall for this one. <laughs> Right? But, but then they got support. And... They got people's support because yeah, a lot of people said and got voted in on, the got voted in on <coughs> a, 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 a mistruth. And then a he... lie. I, I, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm not, they got lie. voted in on a, a lie because a lot of young people grabbed at that, sadly. And then it seemed like they were almost using that to kind of get people to move towards a consideration of independence. Mm -hmm. Dear God, mm -hmm. we went independent so that I could grow a weed tree. Mm -hmm. Come mm -hmm. on. Nobody and, does and, that. No, because it's got to be a high, it's a much higher desire than that. Mm -hmm. But they, like, even with their rules, you, you can have a permit to grow weed if you live in a house with no children around you. Like, where is that in Bermuda? It, as I say, I believe they misled people, got voted in, and when the rubber hit the road, they couldn't. They couldn't deliver. Couldn't deliver. Couldn't deliver. But to make it and a, a, a thing about and made a fuss about it, like made a fuss. What's like, a joke? You're talking about a legislation that says eighteen-year-olds are forbidden to smoke herb in public. I know jugglers younger than eighteen, and but you didn't yeah. smoke weed in public every, every day. day. So, but well, back to so I started. I started about? out saying I was not feeling very comfortable mm -hmm. about the future. Mm -hmm. I see this. Sadly, and I, I don't want to be a bear of bear. I see it getting much worse before we even begin to start to get better. Jordan, draw the picture. What do you mean? Well, gun, don't I, I can't see a stopping whoever wants, who has a gun now. Who well, it reminds me, a colonel said years ago, how do you stop a people hell bent on killing each other? The police can't be everywhere at all times. So, so we're at that place where a hard line must be held with these that are out there doing it. And we have to now educate young people outside of being stuck in that position. Mm -hmm. They have to be able to... We, we hardly heard the figures of uh, how many people start a, a year in, in Cedar Bridge or... Mm -hmm. or about, and how many actually finish. How many drop out? And just in my neighborhood, I see people, they're not going to school, 14, 15. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Well, in all due respect, Cedar Bridge graduated more boys this past year. But, than but, but how many? Lord Lord for that. Lord. Yeah, yeah, but how many that. started? Yes, yes. It, the four percent. Look, my, when I got on an aircraft, the stewardess is fine as can be. The seats look new. Everything's great. But I'm worried about the four percent of boats that are not tightened as they should be. Mm-hmm. That's why the tail drops off. Mm-hmm. What's working is fine. And, and, and we praise the Lord. Mm. But what's wrong is what will kill us all, yeah. what will shoot us, what will bring us all mm. down. It's what's wrong. So when I heard say it's only 4%, mm. it's the 4% that's wrong in your car, in your plane, mm. in your life that's that can that's break it. you down. Mm-hmm. That <clears> is <throat> what we have to work on, the but 4%. Now we have 15 year olds leaving home with knives mm-hmm. but to that's protect been happening. themselves. That's been happening. Yeah. To protect themselves from a little boy that looks just like him. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's been happening. I don't see that easing up anytime soon. It's it's not. It's 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 it's, it's normal. It it's, happened at a cup match in a stand but that, that I was in. And they've got they had those machines up there for cup matches that said you can't get in with a knife in it. Right? You mean the metal detectors? Metal detectors, right? Yeah. Yeah. It happened. I saw it. I saw the fellow with the knife. Thankfully, nothing happened. I just... No, but so in order to stop the 4% from increasing, we've got to give our population alternatives. Alternatives to employment, alternatives to economic advancement. We've got to do that. Immigration is key to that. The Progressive Labour Party government has got to wrap their heads around that and move on in, on that. That nonsense which has been happening in the past about uh, not allowing people coming come, to come in and to take the jobs of comedians, they've already given away all the work permits for that in any event. So we've got to get people that come but in who's promise, prepared to invest their money in the country. But they promise comprehensive immigration reform, no, which has happened. yet to happen. It hasn't happened. They promised a livable mm-hmm. wage. It hasn't happened. They promised... Uh, controls on your food prices. Yeah, your food bill. They promised that cannabis would be legal, <laughs> and they, they, that was on their platform. That was, yeah. I mean, that was on. That's how they got elected. Mm-hmm. And and now we're two years in. Then you got reelected on this COVID racket, well, and well, that's COVID, not over yeah, yet. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 So let's look at October. It's going to be a challenging one. Uh, hopefully, I yes. Know, yeah. Hopefully, that's yes. Good. And that's not, look, we just need a fresh start, somebody with a, with a, a new impetus, in my view. Now, somebody would say, well, Scotty, we all know you believe that. That's why you're on Facebook attacking Brett all the time. No, we need a new impetus. Why are you call it King David? I, I, I did, you notice you're I did. being facetious. I'm being facetious. You know, it, 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 lawyers it, do that. We do that, right? Um, um, you need but, to stop it, though. All oh, right, okay. Well, we'll call you. Oh. Stop ticking off Maxine <laughs> and Jonathan Starling. All right. <laughs> stop boy. it. Stop it, stop it. You got to Bad boy. Jail. Bad boy. Lawyers can't so, do jail. So we need something fresh. And that has happened right, well, in politics. Yeah. Period. I, I'm really you know, and, and, and just, 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 just for the record, Ashfield, I'm not interested in the rule. Are you interested no, in the rule? Not right. There all, you go. But right. Just, mm-hmm. I'm going to throw the cat among the pigeons mm-hmm. and say that some might say we need something new altogether. Well, we've had, I mean, but the FDM didn't not, make a big show. Yeah, but, but no, it wasn't didn't. a serious it, approach. It, yeah. And it's, I, I think if he was still serious about it, mm-hmm. they, he, he, they would still, I don't say, know what I'm saying, say but if, if they, mm-hmm. that group were, they would mm-hmm. still be making comments. Yes. It's ideal now to talk about what's going on. They, they, be the they should be in the picture. They should be yeah. out there. They should be in the picture. Yeah. It, shouldn't, yeah. it shouldn't be you asking two, <laughs> two, two has Two has <laughs> <laughs> It should, it should, should be. It should, it should, huh? and, and look, at, at this stage, at, at this stage, <laughs> at, Especially you, you, at, you this, at this stage in my life, I'm mm-hmm. just glad to get up every morning and be cool. <laughs> Absolutely. With COVID and everything else, I'm glad to just wake just, up and that's be, right. be moving and, right. and smiling that's and smiling. good. Absolutely. So I'm good. Yeah. I have no desire to go back in that sure? third place. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. The, the, the stress of it all. People don't realize those jobs are not. That, but that's you get stressful. to drive a GP. Yeah, you get to be minister of the I was <laughs> I was minister of housing. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I say I was minister of works, engineering, <coughs> housing, mm-hmm. and the Barclay. 
<laughs> yes, yes. I became the minister, <laughs> and I didn't go to Barker, uh-huh. so I had no attachments. Yes, yeah. right. So when I realized, hey, doc, I'm sorry, people's got to go. We got to finish this. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I, I made those decisions. I, mm-hmm. I remember as pictures where they marched. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, remember. And I, I was in cabinet, and we were waiting to go out. You know, because everybody was afraid to go out in cabinet yard. And I said, look, I gotta <laughs> go. let's go. We just got to face them. I, I don't think anybody's going to come at me. Come. And they brought the biggest English policeman I've ever seen, this big yeah, dude. Big guy, yeah. And we were all waiting at the door, myself and other cabinet members. Yes, yes. When I walked out the door, it was myself, the big English guy, yeah. and, and one MP, exactly. your brother. <laughs> they left you. They, the, just the, big man, the big man, the big man <clears throat> went out the other door. <laughs> Are you serious? So Barkley, I mean that. Oh, that's no, a whole that's another story. We could do that a, a whole another tick. That's a right? whole another story. Mm-hmm. But we're at this point that if we need something completely new and different, yeah. and and I, I, I mean, you can't tell the old school and PLP that. Well, the OBS will waste of time. But, 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 but they must remember, anyway. but they must, the, the PLP, the Progressive Labor, must remember now mm-hmm. that that support is sadly not, dying off. Yeah. And a big yeah. chunk. And a young group are uh, saying, going I, over there. I'm not right. So, up, how do you see the next election playing out? I don't think they'll lose, but no, some that, hands will lose. They probably grow. will lose some seats. Yeah, probably. And probably. Mm-hmm. Um, how many? 47, 49%? How many people didn't 47%. vote? 47%. Didn't vote, vote didn't vote in the last that election. That number's going to grow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that number's going to grow. But the progressive level will, will still win the government. But at this point, I'm worried about the country. And, and I can <coughs> say, and it hurts me to say it, I can say that my team, with all of that, uh, the actual numbers they have, six. haven't really made any drastic change. Nothing stands out in my mind. And the things they talked about, things they you happen. mentioned, they have happen. not happened. Why can't we come up with some kind of immigration policy, work that out, that our young people get opportunities. We're not just bringing in people. And you can't, an employer just can't say, I can't find a Bermuda. I, I, I don't believe that. That's been a joke. Yeah, to say that we're la- they've, they've told us we're lazy and we've bought into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They call ministers of immigration a lot of names. The latest name this month, instead of Jason Hayward, is Jason Wayward. <laughs> well, I, I hadn't heard there that. There are those who humbly suggest he's living up to that name. Well. But take a look at finishing up right after this. We'll be right back after these messages. Stay tuned.